and welcome to <laughs> or welcome back to my channel today i'm attempting to do a little matching number i don't know how well we match wait we could wait ah okay it's kind of cute anyways <laughs> today i'm gonna be doing a little video for you on how to get into age regression because that is a question that i get asked a lot and my answer to it is always like complicated and like long-winded and like annoying so i thought i would just make a video about it a couple of disclaimers before we get started the first one being although of course age regression is pure and it is non-sexual my channel and my content personally is geared at adults because i'm an adult and that is just who i feel more comfortable interacting with and sharing with secondly if you're watching this video without much of a concept of what age regression is please educate yourself first and then come back because this video is for people that kind of already know like the terminology and the concepts I'm going to be talking about. So if you want to learn more, I have a video called What is Age Regression on my channel. I'll also put it in the description. So please go watch that one first and then come back here. Another thing to note before we get into the video is that at its core, age regression is a psychological phenomenon that not every brain is going to be capable of, and that is completely okay. It does not mean at all that you need to miss out on inner child healing, and it also doesn't mean that you can't do like most of the same activities that age regressors do. So if it turns out that you are someone that can't age regress, be gentle on yourself. It has nothing to do with you, and you can still completely access inner child healing. It just might look a little bit different. Also. There is a huge difference between someone who, who already regresses and for them there's like a component of symptomatic age regression and involuntary regression versus someone who's never regressed before but found the community online and like wants to try it and thinks it would be helpful. This video is actually more geared towards that second group of people even though I myself have been regressing vol involuntarily and symptomatically since I was 15. But if you're someone like me who regresses as a symptom of being through trauma or mental illness, it's really best to facilitate that alongside a therapist or some sort of mental health professional or clinician and plus my advice for that too would be completely different so this is more so for people who found the community online and just doesn't know where to start speaking of online though try not to get too sucked into what you see of the community online your aggression absolutely does not need to be aesthetic and you don't need any specific objects in order to aggress although of course like certain items are gonna like be helpful and stuff but it is not a requirement a lot of you probably also already have things already so kind of like go and see what's at your disposal that you already have or you can also look up how to make diy toys i can also do a video on like how to diy toys there's definitely a bunch of resources like online for like kids and crafts and stuff but i can also like do a video on that if you guys want it you can also if you have like storage in like a basement or an attic like go and see what kind of things from your childhood you feel like bringing back if you still have any of that stuff or honestly if you don't have anything and you just don't have like a way to bring objects into your regression just use childish media or even nature to try and foster your regression long-winded way of saying that you don't need specific objects and you don't need a certain aesthetic to age regress so getting started First, of course, I think it's super helpful and important to connect to your inner child, as well as the reasons why you feel like regression specifically would be helpful for you. There are a list of things to think about before you try to regress for the first time. It's also important to understand that regression is a deep and vulnerable state to be in. And of course, while it can be blissful and magical, be prepared for the more emotional and potentially turbulent side as well feeling vulnerable, shy, even potentially a little bit scared and anxious or sad are all super normal things to experience while you're regressed and being regressed might bring up emotions from the past or ones you might even be suppressing in the present. So make sure that you're okay with that, like going into it and that you're prepared to potentially deal with it. And because of that, environment is super important. So make sure that you're somewhere safe and comfortable where you're not gonna be interrupted or like, yeah, just safe and comfortable. In general, having like a safe space to sort of touch down in during the process is pretty imperative both mentally and physically in my opinion. Although of course like not everyone like lives in a perfect living situation so I get that that can be hard but I just feel like I wouldn't be doing my due diligence if I didn't like stress that. But yeah also space wise try to surround yourself with childish comforts or things that you think will help trigger your mind to regress. I recommend items that bring nostalgia or items you've bonded with. For me personally it's always 
dolls, stuffed animals, blankets, and toys. And like I said before, the right media. So like lullaby music or your favorite Disney movie. Don't be discouraged though if while you're trying to regress and get into regression that it takes a while for you to be able to regress. It can be hard even for people who are used to it or regress a lot. It's just not something that like your brain is always 100% of the time gonna be up for. So when you're trying to get into age regression and be regressed, try to go in without any expectations and just like go in and try to take joy in the activities that you're choosing to do. So like watching a favorite kids movie or playing with a toy, like just try to focus on enjoying that activity or even just going through the motions of doing it to sort of like get your brain in a place to regress and be patient with yourself. One thing I feel like you can do that I find helpful to like sort of set your brain up for success to try and regress is like try to get into regression when your mind is like more relaxed already. So like when you're tired, for example, like before bed, I feel like is a really good time to try and regress. In general, regressing before bed, at least for me, is like a great way to have some healing, like wind down time before bed because, I mean, like I said, this isn't really necessarily geared at people with mental illness, but I have one of my like main or like most debilitating PTSD symptoms is PTSD nightmares and being able to regress before bed helps me like ease into going to sleep knowing that's coming. So, so yeah, but that won't be helpful for everyone, but thought I'd mention it. Hopefully all of that was helpful, but here are some of my general tips to be able to regress, like just sort of like, if you need a little, little extra, I will put them on the screen, but I'll also say them. I find it's helpful to act like you're already regressed, to treat it like meditation, like to sort of use like visualization and mindfulness, like imagine yourself regressing, imagine yourself like small or like the way you were in your childhood and try and combat any feelings of shame if that comes up for you by telling yourself affirmations and just like acknowledging that that's like a feeling and a thing you need to work on. So yeah, like I said, I hope that was helpful. If you have any other questions or concerns or things you'd like me to make a video on, please leave them in the comments and I hope you're having a really good day. I love you and I will see you in the next one.